Yo, I'm Bob. Into Star Wars. Happen to be totally blind since birth. Talking about Ahsoka as well as Hasbro in this video. So if you haven't watched Ahsoka, I'd do that if you don't want to get spoiled. If you don't mind spoilers, then come right along anyway. This is an Ahsoka slash Hasbro centric video. That being said, jumping right into it. And you were warned. So I know quite a few of you collect Black Series, Vintage Collection, stuff like that. And on August 29th, I'd filmed a video in which I talked about action figures I wanted to see from the first two episodes of Ahsoka. Unbeknownst to me, as I was filming the video, there was a Hasbro Pulse stream going on, and they revealed some things. So I'm kind of going to talk about what I had mentioned in the video as opposed to uh, what was on the stream. Things I liked, things I wish we'd gotten to see. So, in the video, I won't be publishing it now because I think it's kind of pointless. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, I did mention wanting to see Morgan Elsbeth. Right away when that crawl comes up on screen, she's mentioned, and then we see her in Ahsoka. We get to see that she has some night sister blood. She's, she's a night sister. She's a survivor. And Hasbro revealed that she's coming in the, I think the black series as well as the vintage collection, possibly, I think the retro line as well. I don't keep up with that one. Uh, I might eventually grab one or two. I don't know, but yeah, Morgan, I'm glad she is coming in the vintage collection as well as for those who like the black series and the, the retro line. I wish we could get a Morgan eventually from The Mandalorian Season 2, where she's in her magistrate outfit. We see her debut right alongside Ahsoka in her live-action debut in The Jedi in The Mandalorian. And, uh, yeah, I love action figures who sport more than one outfit. We don't get very many of those now. I don't even know if we'll ever see Morgan in her Mandalorian Season 2 outfit. I hope that might eventually come. I, I'm kind of doubting it though, but hey, at least we're getting Morgan in her Night Sister garb. Uh, the audio description track describes that as uh, I think it's a red outfit. She's got coattails or something or other. It, it's a bit vague as to what she is wearing, but she's an awesome character. Very glad she turned out to be a Night Sister, and I'm glad she's coming, at least in this outfit. Maybe we'll get her in her magistrate's outfit at some point. I mentioned wanting to see Hu Yang in the video. Now, I'm not a, a Black Series collector. I like action figures that can fit into figure bins, and I think the three and three quarters inch line does it for me. So Hu Yang was revealed for the Black Series. We have no word as to whether or not he's coming in the Vintage Collection. I would think it's a pretty safe bet that he is, though. I know PulseCon is coming up in maybe late September, maybe early October. I'm not sure of the date on that, but I would I would say could possibly be revealed there. Maroc, uh, he's coming in everything but the vintage collection. I think he's coming in the, I think he's coming in the retro line as well as the black series. I know he's coming in the black series, but no word on Maroc either. And he's a, he's a really cool character. I like his weapon. I like that he's all masked and armored. Uh, we still don't know who he is. Ahsoka episode three has, has aired and he spoke for the first time, but um, that voice was so modulated. We don't know who that is. I know a lot of people are hoping that it's, uh, that it's Starkiller played by Sam Witwer. I hope that it's either Starkiller or uh, somebody new. So yeah, hopefully Maroc will be revealed at PulseCon, maybe at some point in the future. About... Maroc, though, he doesn't have a single-bladed lightsaber in the Black Series. I think he's only got his double-bladed saber. It's like we get we get the double-bladed lightsaber, we get the unignited hilt, but we don't get him with just one blade ignited. And I love when we get more than one saber variation in the, the action figure packages. When it comes to bad guy standards, I love the way that they packed in two single-bladed lightsabers for Reva, and they packed in her her lightsaber in double-edged form. And she, we also got an unignited hilt. So that is, I think, the standard to which all bad guys should be held. All bad guys with, with saber variations. They really packed in quite a lot of accessories with that action figure. And I'd hoped to see something like that with, uh, with Maroc. So I mentioned 
in the video. I would love to see Balin and Shin. They weren't revealed yet, but hopefully they'll be coming in Black Series Vintage Collection and the Retro line. I think they're interesting characters. Uh, and I love them in Ahsoka. I can't wait to see them in action figure form. So we know we're getting General Hera Syndulla in the Black Series as well as the Vintage Collection. I didn't know that the Hera that comes with the Ghost that we'll be getting in a couple years' time. I didn't know that um, that she's based on her Rebels look. So apparently we're getting one from Ahsoka in her 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 jacket that we see her in. She's played by Mary Elizabeth Winstead in that series. So that's apparently coming. That outfit for her is coming in the Vintage Collection and Black Series. So pretty excited about that. I mentioned the HK-87 Assassin droids. And uh, I mentioned, hey, Hasbro, if you haven't started work on him, what are you doing? And of course, they've got that covered. He's coming in the Black Series as well as the Vintage Collection. I don't know for sure about the Black Series, but with Vintage, we know we're getting the Electro Staff as well as the Blaster. And that's really cool. I, I'm tempted to pick up more than one HK-87 because, you know, there are more than one that flank Morgan. And we, we do see more dueling Ahsoka and Sabine in the show, too. So maybe that they would be kind of fun to put in a three or four pack, along with a couple other figures. Maybe they could sneak in, uh, you know, a couple of assassin droids and maybe one or two figures that you might not see on single cards. I don't know how that would work. But I'm glad we're getting the HK in the Vintage Collection. And we know we're getting... Revan in his Jedi look, and we're getting HK-47. I'm definitely picking that two-pack up. I don't know when they're going to be available for pre-order, but I can't wait to get them. I've already got Revan in his uh, his Sith outfit pre-ordered in the, in the Vintage Collection, and I'm definitely going to be pre-ordering Revan as a Jedi and HK-47. I think they made a, a really cool pair, and I have a lot of fond memories related to uh, Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2, and friends playing those games. So yeah, I'm definitely going to get him. I mentioned that I'd like to see Ryder Azadi show up in action figure form. He was in Rebels, and now, of course, he's played by Clancy Brown in, in live action, as well as voiced by Clancy Brown in Rebels. So yeah, I think it's... I think it's time that Clancy Brown got his own action figure. I, I think he's overdue for his own action figure. So I'd like to see him. I know... We don't really get characters with, with very little screen time as as action figures. At least, you know, characters from the new show, they they're, they really focus on the main protagonist and antagonist. But uh, I'd love to see Ryder in the Vintage Collection. I mean, quite a few other characters from Mandalorian and Andor that haven't shown up in the Vintage Collection yet that I, I'd like to see. But yeah, Ryder, I'd like to see him as well as Jai Kel from Ahsoka and Rebels. When it comes to the Rebels crew from the Ghost, I'm not really sure if we're going to get all the tiers unlocked by, uh, I think it's September 6th. And that's kind of a shame because I'm really looking forward to seeing Kanan and Zeb at some point in the Vintage Collection. I would think even if we don't unlock them, they'll probably be coming on single cards at some point down the road. I mean, Hasbro is saying that they're going to include them, so I bet you they probably already got them in the works anyway. But uh, I would still really like to see them with the Ghost, just because the Ghost won't feel like it's complete without all the crew. And uh, I really enjoy Kanan's arc in Season 3 and beyond. Him going blind was such a, a twist that no pun intended i didn't see coming and we got kanan in the five points of articulation line uh, he didn't really come with very much he had a static blaster you couldn't take it out of his holster or anything and i really am looking forward to kanan uh, after uh, his life was turned upside down i mean he had to speak with the bindu and learn how to really listen and, and really learn how to depend on the force in a different way than he ever had before. And uh, yeah, I liked his arc. Uh, well, throughout the entire series, it was fun to watch him grow, but it was such an unexpected twist that they decided to uh, take away his sight at the end of season two. And 
I'm uh, looking forward to getting that action figure at some point. I guess we're getting, um, you know, him with with the uh, with the closed eyes or the I don't know if his eyes are wide if he's got them open or closed or whatever. But I guess we're getting two head sculpts if we do get them unlocked. I also really would like to see Zeb with an alternate version of his bow rifle because uh, in in the old Rebels line we only got him with the bow rifle in bow rifle form. We don't have it in electro staff form. So I would like to see that. If we don't get him with the ghost, maybe he'll be coming on a single card at some point. So season one, episode three of Ahsoka has just aired. I might as well jump into some of the things I would like to see in toy form after this episode. Remember there are spoilers, so watch it if you don't want to get spoiled. Anywho, I'd like to see that new fighter craft at some point in vintage collection vehicle form. We don't have a name for that craft yet. So uh, I, I really would like to see that along with the guards at the end of the episode. That's what they're called on the audio description track. We don't have a name for them. They're guarding that structure. Balin sends them out to hunt for the crew of Ahsoka's shuttle. They're masked. That's about all I know. I can't wait to see them in action and see what they're capable of. I'm not really sure who they are yet. I don't even know what they look like aside from the fact that they're masked because they didn't go into the outfits or anything yet in the audio description tracks. But yeah, they're bad guys, they're minions, so let me have a couple of those in Vintage Collection. And for those of you who want them in Black Series and whatnot, yeah, bring them on as well. I think those are the only two action, or the only two toys from the episode that uh, I can think of on the top of my head right now. Ah, uh, yes. I forgot about Sabine's Loth Lothcat from uh, Ahsoka Episode 1 and Episode 2. I keep wanting to call them Lothcats because that's how my screen reader pronounces them. I think Ezra is coming with a, a Lothcat, so maybe we'll eventually get a couple more so we can maybe have one hanging around with Sabine. Uh, I would really love a, a Loth Wolf in vintage collection form they'd have to be massive we don't get creatures very much anymore but i really love these wolves and rebels and uh, i think it would be pretty cool to see these in uh, in action figure form or creature form <laughs> the, the purgle they would have to be massive i don't think that'll ever happen but when it comes to creatures yeah why not i mean a giant space whale with tentacles that you could articulate and kind of have wrapping around a ship or something like that. Hey, why, why not dream just a little bit? They've, they've been in Rebels. They're going to be in Ahsoka. I would say more than just one little cameo in Episode 3. So yeah, why not bring one of those? I really wish I could have published the other video, but I mean, it's moot now. There's no sense in it. Um, I'm happy with some of the things we got. Hopefully we'll get... Maroc and Hu Yang in the Vintage Collection at some point. We'll get that revealed before the year's out. I would like to think that we would anyway, along with some of the things that I mentioned from Ahsoka Episode 3. And that'll do for this uh, Ahsoka slash Toy Talk video. I'll hear you guys next time.